everyone, and welcome back to another video of Lexi Nation's Plays John Von Rumpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, last time, Monokuma gave us a note by giving us two DVDs of our family's, uh, well, at least for us, uh, our family being hurt or killed or something like that. We, d we don't exactly know what happened. But uh, we had to quote unquote graduate to know what did happen. And by graduate, that meant we had to kill somebody. But we didn't kill anybody. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <coughs> but somebody ended up dying. Sayaka. Uh, we switched rooms for the night. And then we had a morning meeting and she didn't come. So we checked on her and she was dead, so let's just get right into it, I guess. Yes, please, thank you. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Thoughts. Ah! Ah, you're awake. Finally, are you okay? Yeah. There's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um... I'm unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well... It's no surprise considering what happened. What... happened? Gr- Um... Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw... It was real? Hmm. Uh, that's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body, and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. Why? What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend, Sayaka, she's... she's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. Oh no, my wife knew. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now, either. Why? I think that'd be obvious. Monokuma, he told us all to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested to it. I mean, we remembered the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But... So... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him about this. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that! You can believe anything, you can believe that! <laughs> he's here again. Hey! Um... Unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you I will do it. Anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! <laughs> and famous at safari parks throughout the world following the bear times one rule. But, but then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid. That's... Wah -wah? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, you're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope. Sorry, one of you is a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? Yeah. What is this? 
this? Someone, someone killed someone? <laughs> it is amazing what you put that cable allowed. Just hold on. True, like, I, I kind of have to agree with Celeste. It's amazing what people are capable of. Some people are, uh, like, psychopaths. They don't feel human emotion, so, you know. And some of them uh, do tend to be serial killers. And again, I'm just saying some of them, not saying all. Some of them actually do decide to live and try and be normal citizens in society. Hey, hold on. Don't, don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's Ken. <laughs> You're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey! Come on now! <laughs> You're super naive. Devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? I need to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before you, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold. Remember? Then perhaps you are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. If you are the blackens that commits murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough just to kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. Yahoo! So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin! Class trial? Hmm. Yep, it's, it'll be a... Ooh! Within a few hours after the murder, everyone will gather together, including the Blacken, who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well, so, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply, what? It's execution. <laughs> execution? What? Execution. Execution is execution. Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well done! What a smart little chimpanzee you are! Look at you and why you didn't do it without actually saying it. So, it's basically what the outside world calls a way judge system, or an inquisition type thing. Which means, you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Hmm. But judge carefully, because all of your lives are on the line. Uh-huh. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. The new rule has been added to the regulations. Hey! Wait, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking about? You're freaking insane, you know that? Huh? Hmm? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What's, 
Obviously, they're not going to participate in the trial. Only punishment that such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking what? about? Punishments? Hmm. I, I don't know. They're going to deep dark scary prison or something. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't believe it. Don't be so selfish. Stop it. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. <sighs> You've been standing here before me. I'm sure I've been in your fears. I don't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us. Although it was more of a waddle. But then... <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself now? <laughs> this is sad. Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. You violated a school regulation. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnier! That was like ten spears. Oh. This wasn't supposed to. Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! I'm this. this can't be real. No way! Well, now. Now, I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a curse from popping up for no good reason, you know? Yeah. But I guess you all need to be taught a lesson, after all. <sighs> what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me, and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Jimbo's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what, what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey! Um... It's really not all that shocking. She's just dead. That's all. Just went and died. No more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. Okay. <laughs> it's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. I feel like he's talking about uh, Dragon Ball Z, you know? Like, that's like the most like remarkable, or at least that's the first anime that comes to mind in my head. When it's like, oh yeah, they died, but they didn't really die, but they come back to life, but they're not really dead. Like, it's so stupid. <laughs> this is reality! Why? Why did you have to put her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? <laughs> Don't be silly, you can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what did you take me for? I'm Monokuma. Well, now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the black ones. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I'd like to kill it's it. The Monokuma file! <laughs> okay. Hmm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much, of course. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? <laughs> because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then, wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make a proper decision. That's something. 
Well, now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a chance. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there's more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't so show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey, now's not the time to run away depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? Uh huh. In other words, cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust and not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to, to think about and talk about the disease certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> If that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. By now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> well, she's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from this situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sometimes. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right, we just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there's something I need to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Oh! Okay, um. Just a second. Hold on. Huh? Before we begin the investigation, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Oh, um, yeah. Okay, want to tell me about it, Kyoko? Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the current singer. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey! In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay then, we can let Monza look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. Well, fuck you! So then... Fine, then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op based defense with two of them. With their sets, they're totally OP! Huh. Uh, some good tea. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still kind of freaked out, but I'll try. Okay. Uh. Who do I talk to? Uh, I guess I'll try talking to everyone. Dots. She must be shocked. She can't even open her mouth to talk. Okay. What should I do? Got right in front of us. They. Jimmy. Consciousness is fresh. We're starting now. Please wait a moment. Sakura. <clears throat> we can't run away from this situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Okay, hello. Huh? Huh? Uh, um... what, what's going on? Okay, Bondo. Huh? This is 
really happening. Don't fuck with me. Screw that piece of shit there. Okay. Oh. What the heck? I hate this. But still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. Plus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Oh, noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma files and I see it. And I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in the photo storm. Ah! What? She's right! Hey! Eh? Then could it be? All at once, everyone's face turned to me. Oh, hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. For just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. Eh? Hey, what the heck? Just tell us to believe that. Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few moments earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Oh, okay. Um. Are, are so you we're really serious? gonna try to find out who did it? Hmm. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. If we find out who did it, then only the person dies, but if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us face like What the heck? Oh, what a ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Kyoko because she's the only one to follow here. Anyway. We're going to find out who the killer is, because if we don't, we're all going to die here. Okay. Do I talk to Celeste then, again? <laughs> Alas, nothing's been decided yet. Okay, I think I've talked to everybody. Can I leave now? Just a sec. Hold on. Huh? Before we begin the investigation, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Oh yeah. So I talked to everyone. But the only thing that's new here is the body. Do so I check the body? I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff. It's easier to go to the night, but yeah, you can check her wrist too. She really is sad. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. J just wait a second. She's dead? Then that means... <laughs> what? That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? <laughs> Let me out of here! Oh no, someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? I'm just now accepting that? So then, are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues from the, from the foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, so... Well, Joe really needs to say anything. Well, that's chilly. I'd rather you didn't. Oh. Goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better hit the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. Whatever son of a bitch did this here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence. You're fucking you dead. You not let me find him. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious, I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um, but, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway! We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is this very is suspicious. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. It's kind of rude to just instantly imply that I killed her. Like, I understand why you're implying that, but like, still. It's kind of rude. Kind of, kind of a dick move. Like, you, you kind of have to get a base foundation and certain things. Like, you have to get, like, certain clues. Like, yes, it said it was in my room. It said the body Sayaka was in my room. But that doesn't necessarily mean I am the one who killed Sayaka. Personally. Plus, with everything that's happened so far, with me, like, screaming and fainting and even trying to not accept her death, personally, if I was, if I was witnessing that, that seems a little too real for it to just be, like, acting, you know? 
but who knows? Maybe that's just me. <laughs> so I'm coming closer. Are you gonna kill me next? So, well, um, I guess I'm gonna hurt to give it a shot. It's, it's not for sure that McKenna's guilty yet. Um, yes. That's true. We may as well. We may as well at least check to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I like, couldn't help him investigate. Aww. Wait. Why not? <sighs> I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyways. Aw, that's a, that's a bit rude. Alright, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me. Ooh! And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does anyone know really behind the door? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. Great. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. So specifically, the wrist appeared to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth. So that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma file number one. Awesome. So I'm gonna leave and go to my room. The, of course, the crime scene. And because, you know, that's kind of like the best way to investigate something. Really. Oh, first of all, I should head to the scene of the crime in my room. I was just saying that. <laughs> we won't make any progress without investigating there. Yeah. Oh, awesome. It just automatically takes me there. Thank you. So I head to my room where Sayaka's corpse still remains. Okay, I better examine the stage in my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. So I noticed this all before. There's like the sword, there's the bed, scratches on the wall and there. And of course the door will like it might just be how it how it's drawn or like kinda like how it is with the way with how it is. But uh, I think I'm gonna check the room first, so there's the key. And there's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. So this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, we switch the keys too. So Sayaka would have to have had the key here in, in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure to, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of being searching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. The only logical explanation is that, like, there's two options here. She either. Okay, so either the killer. Unlocks the door, lockpick the door, which is highly improbable because Monokuma said that there is no lockpicking. Like the doors can't be taped open with a lockpick or anything. And if they did, and if that did happen, they probably would have been dead because that would have been like a, a breach of school regulations or something. <laughs> so that seems kind of off the table. So the only the only possible explanation that could have happened is that Sayaka let them in. That's not, that's not possible either. Sayaka, Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So, like, how did the killer switching rooms? Yeah. The only the only way she could have uh, done that, the only way the killer would have had, would have been able to get in here is if she let them in. That's, that's my thought on the whole thing. So, let's check the bed. 
There are gadgets in the bed, like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Oh, there's a sword out of a cheek. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of a cheek. I had actually looked at- I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold clothing has come off parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the cutting sticks to you, even if even if you just touch it a little bit. Replica sword has been added. Are there are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must be some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? <laughs> Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you and there's no way you can know. Well. Perhaps this was another one of Monica's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Even if the rooms weren't soundproof, I'm a heavy sleeper, so I, I'd be like, damn it, I was in the room right next to her, but I was sound asleep in my room, you know? <laughs> Evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. And then the sheep is right there, and I'm still gonna like check the and stuff. This is the replica sword I brought back for self defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just the sheath, but. Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even though someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Replica sword sheath. That's actually quite interesting. Let's take the wall. There are scratches and gadgets on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Mm -hmm. Rooms are completely sound, but remember, if anything happened, there's a way you can well, tell. Perhaps this is another one of the ideal settings for murder. Okay. So. I guess I'll just talk about it. By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, there's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! Dirty bastard! Yeah. Shit. And raises their hand to a woman, a scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. <laughs> that along got sorted out with the <laughs> That is great. I love that. How he just goes from like. Just from like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pound the bastard's face in. But what if it's a girl? Okay, well then, um, that will that will split out. <laughs> like, it's just a complete 180. I love that. <laughs> That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> uh, I love that. Let's check the murder. I should take a look around here first. I can check on the spots later. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll talk to Sakura. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether you, whether or not you did this. <laughs> Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Sakura is such a dope character. I love her. Kyoko, talk to me, babe. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Oh, that. I should look around here first. I can check other spots. D -d -d Babe! Uh, okay. <laughs> Table slipped over, trash can slipped over. Oh, okay. Is the display stand the sword and song? Good job.
Huh? Looking at the lens roller, it looks like there was way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how Diddy my room was and decide to clean up a little? The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. Why? We ain't exactly in the mood for what? You build in fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either then? Why? Not not just me, what? nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because like, why the hell would we? Toolkit has been added. Okay. Um there's this thing that figured. The notepad is still in here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Okay, can I please check on Sayaka's dead body? I have checked everything. Ah! You need to check the door then. Let's just check the room for some yeah! Okay, I looked at my room key, I looked at the scratches on the floor, I looked at the sheath, I looked at the sword, I looked at the wind roller, which I guess is a clue. I talked to my buddies. What else? Kyoko, babe. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Mm, no. Not really. Talk to me, babe. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so. But what? Not even. She glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. <laughs> unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find a single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looks like the lens roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it too? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lens roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleanliness. Awesome! Can I please look at the body? Bathroom. Yes! Finally, I can look at the body! I am way too excited about looking at a corpse, but you know, whatever. <laughs> on the other side of the store. Dun. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. <sighs> Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her... her. Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. I mean, you can still cry, but like, wait until after everything's said and done, alright? Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the body first, but it also... Hmm. There's blood on the floor here, but it's a different color than what's there. Yes, there's only really like two spots to investigate, so let's investigate the body first. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but now's not the time to think like that. I pulled out the monochrome file to verify, verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? Probably the kitchen if I had to guess. It looks like like one of those kitchen knives, you know? So it's probably from from the kitchen, which is by the uh, the, ca the cafeteria. That's definitely something I should look into later. All according to what to the monochrome file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Oof. Hers does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist too. That has to be the 
like, that has to be the golden coating of the sword. So her attacker attacked... So the killing blow was the knife in the stomach, but if there's something glittery on her wrist too, and there's that yellow coating on her wrist as we can clearly see, that means that she was, her wrist got fractured by being hit with a sword. That's the only thing I can think of, or the sheath. Because if she held onto the sword, it would have been on the palm of her hand. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's blood on her left index finger, but that's it. Hmm. That's strange. The palms of both of her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Sayaka's wrist had been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wounds. I mean, that could have happened, but... I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... Okay. So, I highly doubt I'm the only one who sees this. If you flip the image 180 degrees, it literally spells the name. My guess, that's why Sayaka's uh, left index finger is is bloody, because she wrote out the killer's name behind her, so that the killer wouldn't see it and like, I don't know, try and wipe it off or something. I'm not gonna say who the killer is, just in case you're like, what? But I mean, that that's literally the killer's name. I highly doubt I'm the only one who sees it. What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Sayaka do this? Yeah. I think I typed everything. It would seem. It looks like you found it. Right, Mikado? The bloody numbers, the most likely left to Sayaka's dying. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. <laughs> I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? <laughs> but the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in, the, in that location, <laughs> in that location while she was sitting the way we found it, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. She's basically saying, like, the whatever you wrote in the wall, if just your hand was facing it, it would be inverted and or backwards. So, yeah, if you wrote a name like that, of course any person looking at it straight on would just see it being numbers. But if you flipped it around, did some Photoshop tweaking or whatever, Wow, it could reveal a name, possibly. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to. Dying message has been added to the truth bullets. Sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, the better to ask than the ultimate programmer. Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know who, how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it got stuck? What? Got stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit the frame quite right. 
When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the keyboard so Correct. So the door doesn't quite fight. <coughs> quite fit in the frame, huh? But actually I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't know this? We'll try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. <laughs> it's like hanging on. It's like turned at like 45 degrees. It's turned at like a 45 degree angle, so it looks like it's probably just hanging on with one screw. Huh? The doorknob. What the heck? The doorknob the doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Pardon me. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms come on, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. And then apparently, struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's good that my door doesn't fit quite right. Because this is like bona fide proof, basically. This is, this is... 100% proof, basically, that I am not the killer. Because if I wanted to kill Sayaka, wouldn't I just open the door? Why would I unscrew it? And if you're like, if someone was like, oh, well, you could have just used your toolkit, dude, I my toolkit ain't open. It is put packaged. It is in mint condition, baby. I am not the killer. I already thought that, but I mean, I am not the killer. Honey. Ugh. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what, so what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest sense of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. And that clears that up. Uh huh? Well, what clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever there. <coughs> ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. <coughs> Bathroom doorknob has been added to the triple section of your handbook. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka dead. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me that is. Okay. So Sayaka's C V D I'm sorry, what? That's Sayaka's room, and isn't that? I'm sorry, what? Huh? This is definitely my room, but the main plate has Sayaka's name on it. Okay, so I'm going to talk. Okay, so I'll oh, I'll get to the name plate thing in a sec. I'll talk to everyone. Uh, I need to check Sayaka's room for the DVD. I will try and like see where everyone is, and then I'll. I I think Chihiro is in the gym, so I'll also go to the gym, so, but I should probably go to the- You will- you understand. I'll go to the garbage room, and then Sayaka's room, and then I'll go to the gym, and- Because Sayaka's DVD was in her trash can, so then I'll get the DVD, watch the DVD, then go to where everybody else is. Which you can do. Okay. Nameplate thing, though. Uh huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplate's on my room and Sayaka's room are switched. So all the effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Their nameplates. Now, this kind of is one strike against Makoto to make it- Because we didn't know- we didn't know that a Monokuma file was a thing until- Until Monokuma showed up in the gym. So I could have been like, oh yeah, Sayaka was killed in her room, Ooh. Like, no. I know Makoto's not the killer, but... Okay, is there anyone behind me? Oh! Byakuya Togami! I am up to your crotch. 
very strange. So why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? Hmm. After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <sighs> the reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? Then, it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... that's really true, then I... <laughs> I love how... <laughs> I was not expecting that. I also need to uh, check the uh, cafeteria at some point in time. Uh, because that's the that next Seems I like. Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Keep at me! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very strange. Mr. Naegi. What was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most suspicious. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Okay. I guess I'll check the trash room because. eventually winds up. How do you get the skate open? No, no, you can't go any further! No, 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 enter beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning no, duty? no, you can't go any further! No, 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 en no enter beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any oh. further! This is stupid. It can be faster than just go right No, here. no, you can't go any further! Cleaning duty. There's a hatch on the floor. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Oh! Okay. So, I guess trying to go to the trash room is completely pointless. Well, I guess not completely pointless. Getting the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break actually. I've been taking a break since we started. This is all the first room, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, and like, I understand you're kind of in like a really tense situation, so it's very hard for you to think straight. But, with the murder that's happened, wouldn't you try and investigate the murder scene? Because I got like 20 clues from looking at my room, hun. You know what? I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. I'm sorry, what? You know, you were just in the dining mm. hall, and I'm just going to break, actually. Uh, it's a Christian room. Okay, then. I want to check here. Yes. The knives. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or? I better see if anyone here knows more about it. Kitchen knife set. Okay, can I now ask Kina about the whole, uh, whole thing? She seemed, she was like, yeah, I was doing the same thing when Zayak was killed, so... Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally! Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, and I just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right! Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So, when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. 
But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall. Hmm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. Yep. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not! I would never! You know, do you really think I murdered her? Because, I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys are supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, Aww. I honestly have no idea. Okay. And something just came into my mind. Hifumi was talking about not letting me dispose uh, trash in the trash room. So, Hifumi, but um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? Thought it would be him. It just so happens Mana came and talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. That someone on cleaning duty, this world would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied, applied for the position. Mm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need the key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So, in other words... Actually... Anyone who goes with a student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen! Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard! Hey, Daddy, why'd you want cleaning duty? Ooh! Why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. I just um... decided to volunteer for something I mean, no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You. Liar. I know why you did it. Is it? Like. You want to dig through the girl's trash looking for, you know, and poking around at it? There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. What are you talking about? All I love is for cutie. You know what I mean. But there are all kinds of trash figures like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to- I'm unforgivable! I never get tired of 2D! <sighs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not too many embarrassed to say stuff like that? <laughs> If you're so worried about keeping this questionable morality, there there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has <coughs> Whenever a guy has cleaning duties, Sakura can can accompany them from picking up the trash and to disposing of it. <coughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <coughs> That's not how it's supposed to Anyway, on another topic, even me, since you are on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. <coughs> what, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or save a village or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash and look around. You got it! Oh, okay. So easy. So, you me and I headed down to the trash room. Hmm. Like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. He said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying. That's a good song. He said, so him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Okay, dokie, leave it to me. He put me pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Naegi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiends, you planned this all along. No, I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy evidence or not. Mm. The actual mm. killer is you, mm. isn't it? I wanted to see if you left anything behind. <gasps> Wait, maybe a parallel world. Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Okay, so there's Hifumi, the 
trash soon is open and there's actually some stuff. Ooh! The blood here just seems to be pink. That's the aesthetic, so let's go. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Mm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning lead? <laughs> no response. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth in shape. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. Now that, uh, now that I look at it, that's definitely blood in the cup, which means this is all that's left of the evidence that can be destroyed. There are a lot of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Burnt shirt piece. Okay, and there's a broken crystal ball here. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it, it used to be some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Yeah, is that... Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear in Grant your single wish. Another Dragon Ball Z reference? Mm. Kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see, see on a big city screen the street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on the quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who... Uh, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person to be. They should still be in the gym. I'd better go find I'd better go find out for sure. Okay, so Hiro lost his uh, crystal ball and all that. The green button and the yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to the big mechanism. This is the incinerator. It's way in, way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah! And it's on right now? Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the map of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going and the yellow buttons to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? <gasps> oh, <gasps> someone turned the incinerator on? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Is it a fairy? Perhaps it was the work of a fairy? If you mean, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? No, you said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes, about that. There can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was pointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. Since I'm the one who has the key to open the gates... No, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. Yet, so that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Considering what okay. Mm. Mm. So the game was like a good thirty. So the game was like a good thirty feet. Sayaka's sign message I think is a name, not a number. This is just further for proving uh, who the killer is depending on their talent. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last thing, I was off in this glass shards and burnt clothes Florence. <laughs> what does it all mean, Mr. Ane? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it. I'm sure of it. Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. Okay. So I think I've checked everything I needed to. Uh, so I need to go to... No, I will go into Sayaka's room. Because I need to get the DVD. Come on, let me get the DVD. Yes! There can only be one thing in the trash Yep, the DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka got really upset after seeing what was in that video. I wonder what she, did she see. It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. Sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Okay. So I got the DVD that I needed. So now I'm just going to, like, of course be asking for confessions from everybody else. Uh, I'll go to the gym and then I'll watch the DVD. Do you have a second Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it. <laughs> to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. <clears throat> Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Got it. Forget everything I just said. Forget, forget, forget Beam! <laughs> Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Ha ha ha. Okay. Gym. Be 
because Hiro and two heroes should be there, and because apparently we think uh, it's numbers. Yep. Hiro? Hey, Hiro, can I ask you something? Uh, yes. No, 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 no! I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out now. I've had enough. I gotta break free. Hiro, snap out of it. Um. <laughs> huh? Mikuro? What are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Huh? <laughs> That's my crystal ball! But it's a smash, what the hell? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What? 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 Is it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? Yeah. He said it belonged to the police of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Is that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belongs to you. Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Okay. It's been... Thanks, hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um... Sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Uh... Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. Come on to be like a million? A million? Uh, um... That's pretty cheap actually. I mean, considering they can see the power to control the world. That's just too. It's too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. And then Chihiro is right here. Hey Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote up the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mmm. Um. Sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, she couldn't. Okay. So now let's watch Sayaka's uh, DVD. And then maybe do another uh, one over. I like the trumpets. Listen to the jazzy feel it gets. Holy crap, that's hot. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friends she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there, in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... That voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight <coughs> only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly, the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <gasps> what the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight for Sayaka. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? That's a mega oof right there. Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. 
Is he trying to say if he was even able to get to them? Curiouser and curiouser. A super f Okay. So, we haven't been able to contact people, like family, for a while. So, police should have come and been like, yo, what the hell is going on? So, the government should actually- the police force and government should be trying to take action to get us out of here. But a super famous pop group has disappeared. Everybody knows who they are. Curiouser and curiouser. Is that, if that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. So that's where this red door leads. I thought it would be like the headmaster's room or something. Yo! You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you were afraid that you would be discovered in the mur- for as the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? Sorry, I'm all tired. <laughs> Is everyone here? Okay then. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Let's go. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well, let us begin. Yes, indeed. Okay. Hey, are you scared? Oh, no, as scared isn't quite right. Lakota. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case myself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover, uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. So I raise my voice to try and get myself courage. I turn, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. So each step forward, I can feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed, and the elevator started to move. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Oh! Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant would intercede his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. Yeah! <laughs> Finally arrived! <laughs> what do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real horror room? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Shit. Not even close. Total shit. Well now. Okay, okay, everyone, find your assigned seats and sit down. Yeah! Hurry up now, hurry up! We did what he said and found our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see what could see everyone else. Which also meant, meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unused onto anyone else. They were seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so the curtain on our first case opens. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A 
deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. And I think that is where we will leave it for today. Right before the class trial. I know, I know, it's terrible, it's terrible. But ah, we will just have to wait and see who the real killer is. Mm, stretching, stretching, stretching. I would like to thank you all so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please consider uh, subscribing. I definitely do this. I do speed paints, and at some point I might do an animation. Who knows? And um, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye! Thank you.